Yo, what is going on? This is Awkward Dad, and today we're going to be doing something new. Today we're going to be starting what is called a build and drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be purchasing these mods from mod makers that create trucks and trailers on American Truck Simulator. We're going to be purchasing these trucks, we're going to be adding them to our game, and we're going to be showing you all the customizations and all the features that you can do on these trucks. So first we're going to get started, and the first truck we're going to use is Joel Collins Roland 389. This is a Peterbilt 389 and this truck has some crazy customizations. So enough said, let's go ahead and get started and I'm gonna show you everything that this truck has to offer. For starters, I must say that this truck can be purchased directly from Joel Collins. It is $105, but trust me, it is well worth every dollar because of the updates that constantly come out always adding new things and just making this truck above and beyond. All right, so starting, we're gonna go ahead and open up the truck and we're gonna select our chassis. We're gonna go ahead and get the stand-up sleeper with the low cab roof and we have the extended here, all right? And oh, that's not the chassis, that's the cabin. This is the chassis. We have the six by four, 300 gallon tank. That'll work for us. Uh, you have many different engine options. You have Cummings, you have Caterpillar, you have a car all of it you have everything you need right here so first we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a pretty pretty hefty engine let's grab this Cummings X15 the 605 horsepower engine go ahead and go over to our transmission get the Eaton with the 16 plus 2 give us our 18 speed all right inside the cab as you can see here you have multiple options you have the premium ultra ride you have the premium ultra ride automatic and here you have all the custom colors you have orange with the gauge or with the screen you have orange and blue with the gauge and with the screens so each color comes with full gauges or you can have the gps you have the purple these are all orange you have the purple red yellow black blue green white so any color you decide to make the truck, you probably have a color in here to match it. So you guys know I love the color blue, so we're going to make this truck blue. All right? Inside's blue. Let's make it inside blue with the GPS on the screen. All right? So then you can pick the outside color. Uh, it does come with some custom skins. You can change however you like. We're going to go with the black and blue style. Let's find our best one many different options as you can see and all of these are paint adjustable so you can take your favorite colors and put them on any paint job that you see in here pretty cool truck not gonna lie lots of different skins lots of different customizations uh, we're just gonna grab we're gonna grab this one we're gonna make this orange make that black bring these lines make it a little light blue and we're gonna bring this and we're gonna make that white all right looking good all right we've confirmed that we're going to go to the next step to the accessories and look at all these nodes holy moly that's some nodes right there it's crazy all right now first we're going to start with the grill let's go ahead and do the top of the bumper you can pick your ornament you have the chrome peterbilt the custom angry duck the black angry duck chrome or painted angry duck gold you have the burglar with the custom lighting as well it's got glowing wings um, all different stuff you have the cat hood the 389 hood pool the 379 hood pool many many different options let's go ahead and go with the burglar ornament blue wings with the lights next we're going to go down to the emblems on the grill many different options as you can see we're going to go with the black one here and you come down you can select what style of grill it is you could do the 379 frame or the 389 frame i'm going to go ahead and keep it at the 389 with the black trim next you're going to come down to the grill you can choose what type of mesh it is pretty cool you have stars you have circles you have ovals you have all black mesh next you're gonna come down to you can add black 
quilted leather fender guards or painted fender guards, which in this case will be black for us as well. So you can just put the little leather fender guards over the top there. Then you can add your oversized banner if you'd like. And you have all these different bumper options. Colored, chrome, you scroll down and get to different shapes, different sizes, many, many different options. We're going to go ahead and add a black one as well to that. Um, some of them have more nodes, some of them don't. Let's see, so you can come up to here and you can add tons of different light nodes. You can add custom license plates, you can add blinkers, you can add strobe lights. Many, many, many different options. All right, we're gonna we're not gonna do the lights, but you can add a whole light bar here if you'd like. All right, then you can choose the different LED bars in the front, the short fender brackets. You could put lights on them if you want. Blinkers, many different options here as well, and you can also change the style headlights you like for each different model of the 389s. You can add LED. You can add the old style retro. You can add the 351 criminal brackets. Many, many, many different options you have here, as you can see. 20, 30 different headlight choices you can choose from here. We're going to go ahead and go with the black style of these I like those come up here you can choose your different deflectors we'll get the uh, the tinted deflector come to the top you can choose if you want the hood trim or if you can get just the rivets I like the rivets real nice and sleek Come over here to the side of the truck you can select what color your engine is we'll go with the blue as well you know we love some blue that's actually the color of the engine under the hood. Can't really see it, but if you look deep in there, you can see close enough right here. That's the blue engine. Pretty cool little extra stuff. For our case, we end up upside down quite so quite often, so we might be able to see what color the engine is more than we'd care to admit. All right, then you can add some fender lights. There are a few different options of fender lights. Go on each side of the fender. Come over here and you can add your flags, which is on multiple different trucks. Go ahead and put our red warning flags. Why not? All right. And of course, you can select what type of fenders you'd like. You can add them with an aluminum trim. You can add them with the painted trim. You can change the whole style of fenders, the Talladega Gangster fenders. This gives you that more of a big body truck. We're just going to go ahead with the painted fenders with the trim. All right. And you come up here. You can pick what emblem you want on the side of the truck. You can do. We're going to do the matching Peterbilt that we put on the grill. Wasn't there. Put the matching black Peterbilt grill. Come over here and you can add a light bar. You can add different size light bars to these air breathers. So we can get light bars on the front and the back so we can do multiple lights so you come here and you can select if you want four lights you could do five lights red white orange all different options like I said many many options to choose from here so we have the amber watermelon lights on each side put them on both sides front and back The next, you can come to the door. You can select what type of clean idle certificate you can put on, whatever type of engine you have. We have the Cummins, so we're going to go ahead and put the clean idle Cummins sticker here on the door. You can select a cabin kick plate, chrome. Uh, we are stationed at the moment in Nevada, Las Vegas, so we're going to go ahead and put the IFTA permit tag there. You can select what type of door handles you want, chrome, paint it, chrome vents. You can select the trim around the truck itself. If you look at the chrome trim around the door, around the mini door here, we'll go ahead and select chrome. 
We have a, we'll keep the chrome visor on top. We have our lights on the hood. Go ahead and add some horns as well. Mix it up a little bit. All right. You can come down here. You can select which box, which tank, and which box you want. As you can see, the tank above, you can either do a chrome tank, a black tank. We'll keep it black on black. You can make this little panel black or chrome if you'd like. I like the black. You can add your hood latches with paint, plastic, or chrome. Really cool little additional features there. You can add, change your mud flaps from the front. Put some weights on them. Come over here and you can select the side skirt. You can make them chrome. You can make it color matched. And some of them have more light options if I'm not mistaken. No, I think it's just one one row of lights. But yeah, you can select which panel it... Many, many, many different options. We're not going to go through all the lights here, but you can really deck this truck out by making it glowing like a Christmas tree. Um, you can select different types of tanks here. We're going to go all black on black. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go with a full black tank there. You can come here and you can select... The color of the sides, the little uh, fuel tank caps. You can put a chrome cap. You can put the quilted fuel tank caps to match our quilted bumpers. I don't think we chose them. Let's go ahead and choose them. You have underglow. Go ahead and add some blue underglow. Why not? Um, middle underglow. Blue lights under cab sleeper. Come back here. You can add double toolboxes to paint to match. You can add the exact same toolboxes like that one has. All right. As you can see, you have many options on the back as well. And this is the exhaust here. You can have some that have the ITF, the IFTA bracket. You can have some that don't. Let's see, we're just going to get ourselves some short chrome ones like that. Nice and pretty. What else am I missing up here in the front? You can add your chrome window chops if you'd like. Put a little passenger side mirror. You can change many different options on these mirrors as well. You could do an old style truck. You can do the new style trucks. Many, many, many different options on this thing. And that's what makes this truck stand out from the rest for sure. All right. You can do different cab window trims. You do fancy uh, factory door window. Okay. This is just the side door here. Picking if you want to open it, you want to close it, keep the trim. Let's go ahead and open it up, put a gold trim on it. You can also take these steps down here. You can add different stickers. I do believe you can open up your files if you'd like and add custom stuff as well. Put your own logo, which would be really cool to add. We'll have to tr check that out one day. Give it a try. We have our underglow already set. No, this underglow is different, huh? So this is the rear underglow. Come down here. You can choose what type of axle panel you like. You can add ones with custom light features. Or no, you can add one with just lights on it. You can choose what type of deck plate you want. You want a chrome deck plate. You want a custom colored deck plate. Come to the back of the truck, and here you have more and more features as well. You can go to the top of the roof, add yourself a turbo wing, the whale tail. Uh, I like it with the flat, simple top. Go ahead and add the Graken 660 low lights. You can put them on the side. You can put them on the rear. You can add reflectors on the truck. Get your antenna. We have the lights already. The rear plate over the window. The visor, you can add the painted trim, factory trim. We have everything else trimmed in gold and chrome, so let's go ahead and trim that in chrome. 
You can add the custom handles. You can add sleeper lights as well. You can do the sleeper lights. You can do LED sleeper lights. Vertical lights. Horizontal lights. Like I said, guys, many, many different options on this beast right here. You can add your cab warning stickers. You got to let everybody know about the warnings. Now that we drive professionally. But anything may happen. And here you can add all the different type of headache racks. You have headache rack. One, two... Paint it, fully chrome, stainless steel, paint this slash stainless, paint. So you can just choose what type of color scheme you want with this rack here. Nice. This right here is a headache rack with an option to add a beacon at the top. We'll go ahead and add our... I do have some light mods in here. I don't know if all of these lights come with the truck. I believe most of them do, but I do have an extra mod light pack, so I could be using a, I don't think I'm using any other mods, but it is possible that some of those light packs you just seen were not part of this truck. My fault. Um, so yeah, we got all of our cab warnings. We got all of our other nodes selected. The headache bar. Okay, you can add factory airlines. You can build them into the put them low low profile, pyramid profile, stainless steel shock cover, which will take out your headache rack because it puts it against the cab here. These are our recessed airlines which are under the truck. And you can choose here if you look on these little poles here. The air track suspension or the low air leaf suspension right here. All right. Oh. Sorry. Let's see. What are we missing? Let's go ahead and get to the back of the truck here. You can choose if you want a sliding fifth wheel or the stationary fifth wheel. You can choose your fenders as well. Many different options and fenders. Great looks for sure. Go ahead and give us those fully covered single cut fenders. And check out our rear bumpers as well. Many, many, many different rear bumper, bumper options as you can see. Lots of good looking features here. Many good looking features we got here. Let's go ahead and add these low profile fenders. Bumper should I say. And uh, go ahead and customize the rims. I do believe that this truck does come with its own Akula. I don't know. Al Alcoa? I can't read. Bear with me. Um, but yeah, it comes with its own set of rims. You can also add rims from the original game if you'd like. But of course, I like to keep these nice, shiny chrome rims that come with the truck. This toolbox, this toolbox here, I did... I do believe I had it set to do double-sided, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wait. No, you have to. Okay. You have to select them on both sides. That makes sense. So, let's do the painted toolbox. Come on this side. Do the painted toolbox as well. Nice. There we go. There we go. We have our fenders. We have our toolbox. We have our underglow. Just do a quick check through. Make sure we got everything. Yes, sir. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, at our front blue underglow as well. Got our fully blacked out truck. Let's go ahead and put a black visor on here. Why not? Let's go ahead and add a painted visor. All right. So we are fully customized on the outside of this truck. Now, for the fun part, we're going to go ahead and go inside the truck. Hey, guys, I do want you to know that I do have the Sissel Mega Pack. If you do not have the Sissel Mega Pack... I would advise you checking out Steam Workshop, typing in S I S L Mega Pack, Sissel Mega Pack, and that'll give you all the extra features that you can add to your truck. For instance, if you come here, see where it says right here this little orange logo, Sissel Mega Pack, you can add all these duffel bags, maps, 10 gallon hats. Some of this stuff comes with the game, some of this stuff comes with the Sissel Mega Pack, and some of this stuff comes directly from Joel Collins, the seller of the Roland 389. Here we can add 
an animated parrot to put on the window where he's always moving, turning his head. Very, very, very cool feature. This, is, I believe, is the only truck I've seen that has animated add-ons for the inside. You can do a dog who's moving his ears, moving his neck. You can also do a man here who is constantly moving his legs, you know, just to add some real-life feelings to it. You can do the woman where she's nervously shaking her leg. Really cool stuff here. You can add his rolling cap, different color options here. You have the log book. You can add the hat and the log book. And then you see you can have all these other stuffs from the Sissel Megal Pack. You can have travel expenses, Pokemon characters, teddy bears, bags, Luke, I mean, uh, Darth Vader, Rex, the dog, a cat, a tablet. The list goes on and on, guys. You can add a whole lot of stuff. We're going to go ahead and add his custom made parrot with the animated feature of turning his head. If you look up top here, you have a big screen. You can also make look like a tablet. Looks like a um this you could add the Sony menu, blue or orange. We already have a GPS down below, so we don't really need it to be a GPS. So we have one down here. So we'll add that to be orange. All right. That's the fender. And you can add your customizable hanging air fresheners. You can do Pokemon golf balls. You can do baseballs. You can do Angry Birds. Patrick, SpongeBob, Minions, 8-Ball, Dreamcatcher. The list goes on and on, guys. Like I said, make sure to download Sissel Mega Pack as well. That'll work with not only this truck, but mostly every truck out there. Whether it's an SCS truck or if it's a paid mod, the Sissel Pack will most likely work for all of them. And go ahead and add, uh, put our compass up there. Why not? Come over here, click on this. You can add a different CB radio if you like. And his options of CB radios are limitless, guys. You can add one with a USA cover. You can add one with just black with a purple backlit. You can add the green. It's the limit. The customization options go on and on and on. And the best thing about this truck is if you join his Joel Collins Rolling 389 group, is he always posts pictures of what he's working on next, what's coming with the next update, all the new features that he's adding. Really, really good stuff here. Not only can you add the CB radio, but you can also add your custom microphone with it as well some of them connect down below some of them connect up ahead using the headliner or dash features so there's one that goes on the headliner the rest go down on the dash you have the american flag one hooked up to behind the truck here you could add yourself another gps down below click on the cup holder you can put a drink in the cup holder look at the floorboard and you can actually do wood floors you could do color matching floors to match the truck you could do just solid colors. I do like the wood floors, so I think we're going to go ahead and stick with that. You can put custom floor mats as well. Not many trucks do you see custom floor mats, so it's really cool to see these extra features, how much he goes above and beyond. You can choose what color steering wheel you want. He has all color options available, plus some fancy customizable ones as well. Got the American flag here with the stars and stripes. Many, many, many options. That's what makes this truck so great to use. Here you can do on the windshield, you can add a blue, green, or purple sunstri sunstrip. Real, real light down below. can barely even notice it, but it is an extra feature. You can do the scan gauge di diagnostic monitor. I can't talk. Bear with me. Um, you can do the hood mirrors. I should have done that already. chrome ones all right so let's take this steering wheel make it back blue or you can actually do the classic trailer the, co the color of the truck it'll take your paint job and match it to the steering wheel we'll go ahead and add the blue one back over here on the dash we can put a tablet hanging off the dash you can also select stuff on the dash if you don't want the tablet go ahead and click on the dash nodes you can add Anything you want. You can add a Samsung Ga Galaxy tablet. You can add a can of Goodyear Money Box, Goodyear Mints, 
Stormtrooper, bob Stormtrooper bobblehead, Yoda bobblehead, all different types of stuff, man. This is it's just awesome with the features they have here. You can come back here. You can select stuff to put on the floor as well. Say we're just going to put an open box of pizza. As long as it doesn't have pineapples on it, I'm fine. Just choose uh, some random stuff for the back of the truck. Put some magazines on the bed. Put a little flame pillow there. You can customize the handle on this refrigerator. Put any color you like. Go a little wild. Add some yellow there. And um, you can actually add different bed covers as well. Nice, fancy looking bed covers. Blue, black, all different colors, guys. And the best thing about this is you can add nodes as well. So I can fill this truck full. Full. Of whatever it is I like. So let's see. We got the dog there. You can't really see him there in the corner. So let's put him here in the middle. You can put more than one dog. You can make all these dogs. You can make them all whatever you like. You can add water bottles, paper towels. So you can fill this bed full of whatever type of mess you want to make. Put a cat there. Come right here. You can put a guy here. You can do all sorts of stuff, guys. All sorts of stuff. The, uh, the customizations for this truck are second to none, I will say. Really good quality truck here. It is made based off of the original 389 in-game. Starts that off with his base model and customizes everything from there. Um, like I said, I really like the work he put in here. And yeah, we are finished, guys. We have built our first Roland 389 mod with you guys. Let's go ahead and take this out for a spin. What do you guys think? Are you excited? I'm excited as well. All right, we're going to station it back home. In Vegas. Oh, we got our garage full in Vegas. Let's go to Elko. Drop it off there. All right. After you purchase that, customize it. Purchase it. Go to Truck Manager. Scroll down to the bottom and let's click Drive. And we're off, baby. All right, now that we're driving this, oh, you cannot drive while on a job. Let me, let me cancel this job real quick. All right, didn't know I was mid job there. Go ahead and cancel that job. Pull out the Peterbilt 389 here. Let's get this bad boy on the road. Now that we got this bad boy on the road, let's go ahead and drop our seat down a little bit. Zoom out just a hair. All right, now we're good. As you can see, the truck has not been cranked yet, so you cannot understand all the animations in this game. You do know that the, the Parrot does have some animations, but the best part about this truck is as soon as you turn on the engine, the wheel drop down, the shifter goes into place, the screen loads up with the Peterbilt logo, Lots of features up here. You also have the tablet, as I was telling you above. As you shift gears, the shifter does shift gears as well. One of the only trucks I've ever seen that has a fully animated shifter. Great, great stuff, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and head over to Walmart here, grab our load, bring it right up the road, show you guys all the amazing features of this truck. Beautiful sound. Beautiful, beautiful sound here.
No job here. We'll go back in here. We'll back it up here. We'll go grab ourselves another a short little load here. As I was saying though, guys, the, the animations on this truck, the the above and beyond that Joel Collins goes to create such such an excellent truck here. A lot of the a lot of people who do play American Truck Simulator and don't mind spending money on all these extra mods to better the gameplay of the game. This is the most expensive truck I've ever come across, but he does put in the most work that I've seen. Like I said, a lot of the stuff is just beyond this game. I have yet to see any type of animations for inside the truck. The steering wheel turning on, uh, moving, the screen turning on, the shifter shifting into gear. That's just something you don't see on normal trucks inside of American Truck Simulator. All right. This baby is beautiful. I think the shifter only shifts in reverse and into drive. I don't think it does all 18 gears. I believe it just does reversing and driving those two different gears. I could be mistaken. Maybe someone can correct me in the comments. Um, yeah, we're pulling up to our destination. Oh, we got to get in this left lane here. A little cut through traffic. Nothing to see here. Go ahead and grab our job. We're going to pick up a compact Volvo SD160B. Fancy. Sounds like a password. All right. Such a beautiful truck. Oh, wait. We need to turn our beacons on and let them know we mean business. We need to let them know we mean business on these streets. All right, heading over to Phoenix, I believe. Gotta go ahead and take the exit here. Stay left here. We're gonna attempt this delivery. Wreck free. We're going to try not to scratch this beautiful, beautiful truck we just purchased. We're going to make it our dying wish for it to be a wreck free delivery. We could do it. Get some hashtag wreck freeze in the chat, guys. If you're still watching up until this point, then you really, really are thinking about purchasing this truck. And I say don't think about it. Just do it. Because if you do it, you will not regret it. I can promise you that. I haven't bought a single mod from a mod maker in this game and have regretted it. Every mod that I purchase in this game always adds a next level of content creation. And there's nothing better than being able to drive trucks that are just created from people in this community. It's the best part about it.
All right, it's getting close to nighttime, guys, so we're going to go ahead and take our next exit. Try to find us this place to rest our head. Get ourselves some sleep before we head off with the rest of this delivery. As you can see, the night is creeping on up on us, and you can see the glow under the truck. Really starting to stand out now. A nice, beautiful, dark blue color there. Really good looking underglow. Again, the underglow, just another one of the thousands of customizations in this truck. And you have the watermelon light, the watermelon lights here. As the night progresses, these lights turn on, gives you a nice glow inside the cab of this truck. Really standing out from the rest. Not even going to lie, guys. Really, really standing out from the rest with this truck. Great quality. I, I am not an unsatisfied customer, I'll tell you that much. I am not a ha an unhappy camper. I am enjoying it. I use this truck quite a bit, and I can't think of one complaint about it. Alright, coming up on a exit close by. Like I said, guys, it's slowly creeping into nightness. We're going to pull over, grab ourselves some Z's before we drop off this roller here. Oh, oh, they're plotting against us. Is there any place to sleep nearby? We are in the middle of nowhere. Guys, you know what happens when we're in the middle of nowhere, right? Well, go ahead and put on our flashers. Let them know that we're pulling over on the side of the road because this man is tired and this man needs some sleep. All right. Let's go ahead and pull over on the side of the road. Put that parking brake on. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. And we're just going to... We're just going to go to sleep right here, guys. That's it. That's it, we're just gonna get ourselves some sleep. Well guys, this is our first edition of the Building Drives. This is the Joel Collins Roland 389. It also does come with a Mack trailer. We'll be doing a video on that later. You can check the description. You'll probably find the link for that. But yeah guys, this is one of the first mods that I purchased in this game. And I've been playing this game for over two years and he's been coming out with continuous updates for every new feature that he adds. Great truck guys, it looks beautiful in the day. It looks even better at night. Appreciate you guys watching, appreciate the time you guys have spent being here. And if you're considering buying this mod, I hope that this video helps you decide to do it. Because I tell you that it is 100% worth it. I do like this mod. I do love this mod, actually. So yeah, guys, if you haven't done so yet, be sure to follow us over on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube, check out our Instagram and our Twitter as well. And again, this is Awkward Dat, our first episode of Build and Drive. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day, and as always... Stay awkward, baby. Peace.